Hello, my YouTube friends. OBS is a powerful tool that you can use to live stream to almost any platform available. It can do so much, but it can be pretty complicated to learn. So for this video, I put together five advanced tricks in OBS that are gonna help make your streams easier to manage and give you a better broadcast. So let's get to it. <laughs> If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Nesting scene. Setting up multiple scenes can be really complicated, especially if you're reusing assets over and over again. This is where nesting scenes can really help. It makes fixing problems and building dynamic scenes much easier. And you're gonna get much more consistent results by using nested scenes. Here's an example of how I use a nested scene for my live streams. My wife Monica monitors the chat and keeps track of questions for me to answer. When I finish a question, I go to the Monica question cam for her to read the next one. I created multiple scenes for the question cam so she could have a different green screen background in each scene. Now I could add a separate camera source and audio source for each scene. In fact, that's how I did it the first time. But I found that each scene ended up having a different crop and the audio would get adjusted on one scene and not the others. It was a big mess. So here's how I fixed it. I created a scene with the camera and the microphone and the green screen filters already preset. I named this one using NS at the beginning so I remember it's a nested scene. Then I just add that scene to all the background scenes I already created. Now, if the screen doesn't look right or the audio volume needs to be adjusted, I just go to the original nested scene and I can fix them all at once. Trust me, this seems complex, but start using nested scenes as early in your OBS process as you can. You're gonna thank me later. Embedded chat. Running a live stream is a lot to process while you're trying to engage an audience. The less you have to flip around on your computer to find things, the better off you're gonna be. The Windows version of OBS gives you the ability to embed chat and other browser sources, so you don't have to flip away from managing the stream to read the chat or see a donation. And it's really easy to do. So you want to go over into your stream. In this case, it's YouTube. I'm going to pop out my live chat here. And then I'm just going to copy this URL right from here. And I can do that by right clicking and going to copy or hitting control C. That works too. Then I'm going to go back into OBS and I'm going to go to views and then docs and then custom browser docs. And you can see I already have the chat one in here. So I'm just going to paste in the URL right here and click apply. Now I can just go to view, go to docs and go down to the chat doc I just created. And there it is. Now we can see my chat doc. I can chat. I can watch all the chats come in right here in OBS. And you can do this with more than just your chat. Let's say you had people subscribing to you during a live stream or maybe you're getting donations and you want to be able to make sure that you don't miss anything. Well, you can add your donation feed in here as well. In order to add your events in here, all you have to do is open up your stream elements. You see this little pop out here in the top left and I can just copy out the URL right here by right clicking and going to copy or hitting control C while it's highlighted. Then I go back into OBS and I go to view, docs, custom browser docs, and I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna call this events. And then I'm going to paste in the URL and click apply. And there the doc is. All I have to do is drag it to where I want it located in the OBS UI and I can expand it make it look exactly how I want. And now we're all set. We have both the chat and our events listed right here in OBS. We don't have to open and close other windows or anything like that. It's really easy to find. Freaking awesome. Syncing audio and video. Audio and video can end up out of sync if your computer's having trouble processing the stream or if you're using a separate microphone and camera combination. But there are ways to fix it. So one of the methods I like to use is clapping on screen so I can see whether my voice and audio is lined up. If it is not, I can go into advanced audio properties and I can adjust the sync offset right here. And this will move the audio forward a little bit or backwards a little bit to sync it up with the video that is actually being broadcast. 
Now, if that's not gonna work or you have your audio that's really late behind video, well, you can easily delay your video. All you have to do is go ahead and click on filters. Then you're going to go to audio video filters with this little plus, and you're going to select a video delay async, and you can just click okay. And once this filters in here, you can see it gives you a delay. You can delay your video for any period of time to help to sync it up with the audio. So that's two ways that you can deal with out of sync audio and or video on your live stream. Profile and scene collections. When OBS added these, I was so excited, but I don't think a lot of people use these features because I'm always getting questions about it. Profile and scene collections are a way to save different settings you use. Like if you stream to Facebook for one stream and YouTube for another, you can save each settings profile separately so you don't have to reconfigure for each broadcast and it's really easy to set up. This is an awesome OBS feature. I loved when they added this. You'll see at the top, if you go up and you drop down profile, you can list your profiles here and you can add new ones. And what the profile is, is it's a savings of all the settings for that particular profile. And you can go in and create a scene collection for each profile. It's really, really awesome. So I can create all kinds of different scene collections and each one of those scene collections can have a specific profile assigned to it so the settings are different. So I never have to go into settings when I wanna go live on Twitch and I never have to go into settings if I wanna go live on YouTube. I can just change my profile and my scene collection. Scene collections work the same way, except for scenes. You can have multiple live stream scene collections stored and select the one you want for the broadcast you wanna use. So for me, I live stream on YouTube and Twitch. I use completely different scenes for each broadcast. This means I don't have to have them all in one place. I can separate them into a collection, one for Twitch and one for YouTube. It's really awesome. To add one, I can go into Scene Collections and go to New. And I just name the new scene collection whatever I want and click OK. And you can see now we have just a blank scene in there and we can begin creating this live broadcast. It's awesome. OBS hotkeys. There's so much you can do with hotkeys. Create a soundboard, change scenes, mute audio, start and stop media files, take screenshots. The list is endless. And here's how to set up your hotkeys. In order to get to your hotkeys, you're gonna go down to the bottom right and click on settings. Then you wanna go ahead and select hotkeys. And you're gonna see lots of them here depending upon how many scenes you have. The top bunch are really just associated with starting your live stream. So you can start virtual cameras and start and stop and pause the screen or record, things like that. And once you get down a little below that, you can see that you have your scenes. Well, I can go to switch to scene and I can assign a key for this. In this case, the branding bumper is gonna be key one and the next one is gonna be key two. And if I go out of there after I apply it and I hit the one key, I go to my branding bumper and then when I hit the two key, it goes to my countdown timer. So you can easily set these up to switch scenes whenever you want and all you have to do is click a key on your keyboard to change scenes. You can also use this to set up a soundboard and that's pretty easy. I'm gonna go in here, I already have some audio sounds uploaded into one of my scenes. So I'm just going to find my scene here and here it is, new overlay. So I'm ready and hump day and all these are audio clips that I loaded in. So in order to use those clips, all I have to do is assign a number key to them. But you can use any key. It could be the J key or the Y key. I'm just using the number key. You notice that I'm putting the same number in the show and the hide. The way that this soundboard system works is when you turn it on or show it, it plays. And when you hide it, it stops playing. This makes it really easy to turn these soundboard items on and off. If you want to know how to create a soundboard for your live streams, there's a little link at the top of the screen now. You can click on that to check it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting these in here and then I'm going to apply and go back out. And you can see now when I select the new overlay, if I click those keys right at the top of my audio mixer, you're going to see that it does play. It's playing I'm ready right now. And if I click it again, turns it off. Now I click on hump day, it turns it on. I click it again and it turns it off. 
So those will automatically play whenever you hit that hotkey and we'll turn them off. It's an easy way to create a soundboard for your live streams that can really add a lot to your live broadcast. It's freaking awesome. Which advanced feature are you excited to try? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to learn about some awesome plugins to enhance your live stream, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.